Hey YouTube, LJ Gamble here with a video on uh, what I built next. Hydrogen dry cell. Just finished it today. I got the last of the gasket material to finish it off. It is all handmade. Came out awesome. Uh, inlet and outlet. There's a <clears throat> positive and negative. Negative, positive. Um, I got the wing nuts on here to uh, put my wires on when I hook it up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, it is the Lexan is five inches across. Oh, I'm sorry, Lexan is five inches across, and then the plates are four inches, are four inch plates, and. Um, they're an octagon shape. It's a 20 gauge 316L stainless steel. And then just bolt, regular bolts. And then the uh, gaskets I actually cut and everything too. Those are not, you can't purchase them like that. I got them in a big sheet. I have the leftover materials here. Here's the inside uh, pieces that are cut out of it. Um, and then also a piece of one extra plate I have here. When I ordered these pieces, I ordered them off of online metals. And uh, they come to whatever dimensions you want and however many you want. So I put in uh, four inch by four inch and I ordered eight of them. They sent me ten. They gave me two extra free. So I was pretty impressed and I actually needed them because my original design did not work well. I originally designed it to have a negative and a positive plate and then uh, six neutrals in the middle and I hooked it up to test it and it almost did nothing it was hardly making any hydrogen at all the voltage was just too low and that was with a really powerful mix of electrolyte too and uh, when I just tested it the first time I just used baking soda but um, when I'm going to run it, I'm, I'm going to use uh, sodium hydroxide. And uh, that's what I just tested it with today was the sodium hydroxide. But uh, anyways, the way I changed it to make it better was instead of six neutral plates, since I had the extra two plates, I used one of them to put right in the middle. So uh, now it's basically like uh, two stacks of um, three neutral plates. So I got a, let's see, a positive neutral 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 negative neutral 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 positive so yeah that's a total of nine plates now instead of eight um, works way better uh, there's three holes drilled in each plate goes all the way through they're lined up real nice um, that was some hard stuff to drill through stainless steel is pretty hard I had to use one of my uncle's really good bits in order to drill through it with a drill press and then uh, I just used a uh, pneumatic uh, grinder to uh, grind the edges off that way they clear the bolts except for the one edge on each positive or negative plate so yep and this is half inch thick Lexan I just got it on eBay and it was also uh, you buy the however big a dimension that it comes in but then you can also ask them to cut it too and they cut it perfectly just freaking it was spot on to exactly five inches like it's not even a sixteenth of an inch off, but um, yeah, that's, that's what I got. Um, I did a small bench. I uh, did a video on a, a bench test. Um, I'll probably put that right after this. Um, I would have done a better video one of it, but my bottle cracked at the bottom, so I got um, epoxy. Um, I have the epoxy setting right now, so it'll be ready to go in the car soon. So yeah, just a. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. It looks pretty sweet. And then my first time too, so I'm pretty proud of myself. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the bench test next, and then yep. Uh, one one other thing I forgot to mention was uh, I actually did a liter per minute test. I had a liter, I had a one liter bottle, and it filled that bottle in um, one minute and 20 seconds so yeah that's really close to a liter per minute just under it 
I don't know what it exactly it is. I don't know how to do the math on that, but yeah. Uh, just wanted to add that. Okay, check it out. I got a bench. I'm bench testing it right now. It's all hooked up. Got water in there. There's just tape on there. Um, I hooked the battery charger. Watch this. gonna cycle through first and then it'll fill back up and then it'll just freaking go that's what I'm getting right now that's pretty cool that's a lot I need to measure liters per minute next but yeah it's working awesome I just mixed the electrolyte it's a uh, potassium hydroxide that's the gallon I mixed it in it's only like three teaspoons three tablespoons and I get that much. So yeah. Oh my god. It's so loud. <laughs>